What's up guys and welcome back to another match review and it was a pretty tight game that I mean it took us the 70th minute to score and before I start I want to sincerely I guess apologize to Lotto Fernandez for saying I want him out. I'm so sorry for saying that. Alright, okay. Um he scored the winner. Basically if he didn't score we would have drew and Athletic would have won. And we're gonna talk about Athletic game at the end, um, because it's about the Real Madrid, of course. Um, firstly, it was kind of harder than I expected. I predicted a 3-1 win. Um, didn't obviously got a 3-1 win. I thought Inaki Williams didn't play the best. Um, and obviously, we're going to talk about Athletic Club Bilbao in a while. But we're going to go through the team. The lineup I had was literally this, but I didn't predict Audrey Zola and Gutierrez. I predicted Marvin and Marcelo, so I was a bit off. However, most of the other players I got correctly. Cortoy I did co get correctly. Not too many tell yes. The three main players I I knew Cruz was gonna play because of COVID nineteen and all. Um, so I thought Robert would get in, and I knew the front three would be the same front three uh, like against um Granada as well. Um, anyways, we're gonna ride it through the team. Cortoy I thought was outstanding in goal. Um. Two centre backs, Militao didn't really contribute much. I mean, he did do quite well defensively. Um, yeah, um, the defense was quite well organized. Um, and then Nacho obviously scored the goal. Um, he probably is better of the match for me. I mean, he's got the winning goal. Like he literally did the most by scoring the goal. Like creating chances is a good thing, but if you can't score, you don't win. Um, which is something I have learned. Throughout the entire years, um, if you don't score, you don't win. If you score, you win. Basically, that's it, right? If you concede, you lose. Okay. Um. So literally, Nacho Fernandez for the first time, I'm gonna say, was brilliant, right? Um, the fullbacks, I mean, didn't see them in action that much like, against um Granada, but still great performance. I feel like the team did quite well. Maybe not Vinicius again, cause he just can't seem to score. I mean, it's been so many games since we see him, see him score. It's honestly shocking. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Then in the midfield trio, um, the same three midfielders. I mean, the cross from Casemiro though to Nacho. How about that? Like honestly, it's just a clap. The header, the cross, both sensational. Um, and. Then the front three obviously didn't do much. I mean, I put Benzema to score again, but we will. This is what we rely on him too much. Oops, um, just controller, okay. And that is pretty much it from the Real Madrid side. I felt like we, um, I was I was shaking because we were nil nil. Athletic was nil nil. Then in the seventieth minute or earlier they scored. Then we scored. Diago got ruled out. Our goals countered, and then their goal, um, their game, um, became one nil to Osasuna, and I was so happy. But Osasuna bottled it and utterly won, which means the final game of the season is crucial, right? It's honestly crucial. Um, can't remember the team I'm playing against. Um, oops, my my phone just ringed. All right. Um. In Athletic have Valladolid away and we have Villarreal at home. Um, which is probably Villarreal and not a good way to end off because I, I have a feeling we're going to it. Um, and the Valladolid, I mean, it is still Valladolid, right? Um, but, you know, if Athletic go much to it and we win, we are champions. Um, it can either go one way, no, it can go two ways. It is either they win. I mean, actually, but it can go a few ways, not two ways. If they win, they win the title. If we win and they lose, they win the title, right? Um, if we win, they win, they still win the title. Um, if they draw, we win. Then I think we win the title on go differential. I think that's how it works. Um, or go Scott or something. So it's going to be crucial. Barca out of the title race for sure now after their loss to Santa Vigo. That was a shocking performance. I, I felt like they rely on Messi too much, honestly. I mean, who am I to talk about Barcelona, right? Like, 
I mean, I should focus on, at my own club instead of focusing on Barca. I just want to voice out my opinion and what I have to say. You guys might not like me because of that, but I think it's true that all Barca fans agree that you guys only, you know, when there's a game, you guys rely on that one player. It might not be messy in the game. When he doesn't shine, you guys might rely on whoever. De Jong might come out. Ansu Fati, Pedri, um, Minguetza, the centre-back. Um, anyone, okay? You guys rely on anyone possible. And that is the one player in that game you guys rely on. Uh, but I'm not going to criticize Barca because of... Uh, this is not a Barca video, of course. And... Um, I'm going to talk about the red card given to Raul Garcia. I'm not really sure about what happened there. Uh, because I watched the highlight and it was just a red card given out of the blue. And I think he came on for like 20 minutes or so. And he got sent off. Um, which means he will probably miss out the last game of the season. Which he will, of course. Why do I say he, why, why I say he might? I don't know. Um, uh, he'll miss out the last game of the season. I mean... Bilbao have nothing to play for. Like literally, the the top um is settled. The, the I think it's settled. Apart from the relegation battle and and title um battle title league title winners bet battle, I guess it could be two. Barca, I think are going to be third. Sevilla are going to be fourth. It's going to be the same top four. Just depends who wins the title. Um, even if you don't win the title, I'm still going to make a video about it. I'm still going to be. Um, as a normal person, as a fan, I'm not going to be not a fan of this club. The only thing that can make me not a fan of this club is we join the Super League, which we are still not out yet, okay? Apparently, us, Barcelona and Juventus have not retreated. And UEFA have said, if you guys don't like leave this project, you guys are banned from the Champions League for two years, which is apparently what I've read from Sky Sports and I've watched their videos and all that. Um, and... It is going to be a sad, sad, sad thing if that actually happens. Cause, oh my God, imagine not playing Champions League football at all. Imagine getting bad. Imagine having to pay fines. Um, it's just going to be a horrible as a fan. Anyways, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the athletic game to run up to this video. I felt like they deserved it. They, they had so many chances. I watched the game and I was like, what? They had like. So many shots, why Suarez was furious, he was kind of angry at, at the moment, he, he went over and kicked the ball at the side, um, he hit the post, Saul hit the post, Correa missed, I mean, it was just so many things gone wrong for Atleti in the first half, however, they scored after Brunema, Brunema, I don't know how to say him, the, the Croatian striker from Osasuna scored, Renan Lodi and Luis Suarez came up with the late goals to give them the win. Oh my god, that is probably the worst moment. I celebrated Osasuna's goal like an absolute madman. And then I cried like a madman when Atleti scored. It was honestly horrible. Uh, I mean, there is still one more game. Um, whoever wins it, I'm not gonna, you know... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a neutral fan about this. Because whoever wins it, it's because they deserve it. If Atleti win it, they deserve it. If we win it, we deserve it, okay? I'm just gonna take it that way. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!